getting up for the first night. How many people are, are returning from last night? From last night? Why won't you leave? <laughs> but yeah, we're, we still have another good show, and they're all new to me. Don't return from last night. So we're going to have a good time. And let's see, our first weekend is. Oh, the new guy. Here it is. Mikhail Kama! Dragon Ball Kai, the Dooku Saga, 
Dragon Ball is an old school anime that I can like fall back on. It's always nice, like, fun, enjoyment. Have you been about it? Well, he is a anime villain. That's an animal ball if you thought about it. Because he turns people into food. He can animal ball in that way. But yet, everything he turns into food, it goes down and his ass just gobbles it all up. But, yes. That would be pretty cool, though. Turn on, that would be a great way to do the death penalty with all the people on death row, all the crime prison. Just turn them into food, you know, the starving children around the world, get yeah, animal ball under. All that's not likely to happen. In fact, we're more likely to see four kids just hold them to a pico. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, 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 Basically, yeah, Tiger Woods is a very very big time. And it's over a more recent year, it's over at Flamenco, which is another awesome show about heroes. But again, when you look at it, it's like, is it about a guy from Spain, a flamenco dancer who wants to be a samurai? Oh, I still watch it like that. Beauty is your viewers. I am. Samurai. Flamenco. Now that would be awesome either way, but what the show doesn't last. Well, let's take a look at Marmalade Boy, which is an old school show. Is this is about a boy that's made out of orange marmalade. No, it's like the character's name. But either way, with that gimmick, you still wouldn't get much violence out of it. It just sounds like something that Patty Tapper would get his fudge rocks off to. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's the same with Peach Girl. I mean, it's not about a girl made out of peaches, but it still sounds like something that would go in Bowser from Super Mario Bros. Even though it's not about a kind of peach. But it's a little more dead than Wonderland. Great theory, but it sounds like something that the Undertaker from WWE would call an amusement park if you were to ever open one. And that would be an amusement park, I would visit all the time. Or, no, XXX It's a hit guy. With a hit like that. XXX Hollock, it's got to be one of those guys who make a bird, does some porn, something like that. You watch the show? No! Not a hit guy at all. You're the main freaking extra couple of before you go. Or, Bleach. Seriously, a series about people who work in a laundromat or anything like that. But anyway, so the short of the series, and getting back to the thing, if they can make money, if I can make working at a fast food restaurant in Toronto, I'm sure a series about people working in a laundromat could be made awesome in some way or another. I mean, think about like this, like.
makeup, shaving, relaxing, man. It's like, it's like, what? Alright, dude, you have no idea. Okay, imagine this really, really, really intense workout, right? Where you're like doing 80 bench presses and then you're doing 300 squats and you're running 500 miles, you're beating up, just so hard, your face is hurt, you want to cry. And then the instructor goes, that's it for today, see you tomorrow. Fuck! That's what it is you wear makeup on a daily basis. <laughs> but uh, it's great because I, uh, it's like, I actually have a girlfriend, believe it or not. Please, please believe me. Please believe me. Please, please believe me that I have a girlfriend. And I think it's very important for everybody to have a girlfriend or have some type of significant other to be with. Now, if we're just going to look at this in nurture, it's like, uh, you know, from a nurse standpoint, uh, it's really good to have a girlfriend because, I mean, somebody said, hey, geez, why, why don't you go get a hooker? And hookers are nice, except that they got this whole insert quarter to continue mentality. <laughs> Meanwhile, with girlfriends, girlfriends have replay value. <laughs> in fact, in fact, that's what the game for one to get two games plus. We <laughs> have to use that extra costume that they have going on. Of course, of course you get the girlfriend's cat costume, you had to pay for it. <laughs> And if that's what I think you're lucky, if you're really, 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 really lucky, she is like the best friend over for co-op mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, when, 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 when I was when I was co-op mode, I, I don't do it often. Please, please pray for me, I don't do it so often. But uh, the, one of the most awkward yet flattering moments is when a dude will hit on you and that you're that gender. Now, I don't know about you, but I kind of imagine this as one of those mass effect morality questions, <laughs> which would be a lie and make you feel good, you know, lie and try to tell you, but at least he knows the truth. I mean, lie and make you believe it feels good. Would you tell the truth and crush his spirit? And I really, really want to tell the truth, but it's like telling your little brother that Santa Claus is not real. <laughs> You're like, the day when I'm going to have him over, do a big right? And then you just stare at me with these big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> okay. Bye. Try to fix dogs an hour for that one. Uh, but, uh, you know what? The thing about that, there's two things we can always count on. Long city line and religious protesters. Unfortunately, we can't make fun of the long shitty lines, and I bet you everything's a comedian before they came here was like, oh man, we're gonna make fun of the lines. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like, that was your reaction, right? When you got the line, where the lines were gone, like, shit, what do I do? I thought you'd be lining up with a swap, you would have to withdraw. <laughs> you know why this happens? Because everybody knows that fans they hire up don't give us what they want. They'll read the page for the People are expecting to wait in line. The door is the lighting car, huh? Oh, fuck those guys! It's so good to know the lighting car!
talk about you know totally can be in a multiple wives like something like Guess the Ham series or something. <laughs> And you know, we can even have the black magic come to say black power, black power, like, cool, I like Virginia Mark as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do think conventions are one of the greatest places to be, right? I'm serious. Conventions are the most I think a convention is one of the safest places on this planet. I'm serious, alright? Alright, let's take an example. Let's say there was a terrorist attack. A suicide bomber is coming in, you know, giving you the whole new reason for the phrase, blowing virgins. They would be bored. Do you know why? A convention is the only place outside of the state of Texas where every single individual in the building is armed. Now they're going to be pizza rats with wooden swords, plastic bags, body over the machine. They live in here and tell them, we'll let them move as soon as you give us the next season of Berserk. I don't know what it is, it's a bloody wild. Forget the Koran, forget the torture videos. We already strapped them up to chairs to make them watch Pokemon and Pico. I'm thinking about Pokemon and Pico. I think Pico is one of the most badass family characters in anime history. I'm serious. Like, he has so much swag that he has to dress as a girl to, like, keep his swag up down and he's still, like, banging everybody on the spot. I mean, if you think of it, it's kind of like how Piccolo wears weighted clothing to be in someone's house. Wait, wait, wait. Piccolo. Weighted clothing. I'm going to look down. Piccolo. Pico, Piccolo. Don't you know me? Oh, you can't hide it! Oh, my God, it's okay. It's okay. Watch Boku no Pico? Yes. It's very hard when you lie and say you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I think my girlfriend made me watch that once. It's like it's like some sort of Mass Effect style loyalty mission. It's like, are you going to say it, Boku? I am you to show you wrong. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, as a nerd, you ever had that question? You ever agree to yourself, like, what if your favorite game was real? Yeah, no, nah, nah, nah. no, everybody wishes they were in an anime or a video game. Because, like, everybody had that one game in life. Whoever was real life would be super easy. Like, if Final Fantasy was real or any other RPG was real, you would never have to show up on time or a one game because you got the best excuse. Hey, you, why are you in a random battle? <laughs> If that old problem was real, you never have to pay back any loan. Hey, gee, where's the money going? How come that first did? <laughs> but I think the best game to be real is the Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda would be the best to choose. You know why? Because Zelda was real and I need money, all I gotta do is pull my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, when it comes to the. When it comes to making games, like there's two ways to make a good game. You can either make a game with an amazing story and all the action, or you follow the cheap formula for making a great game. Which is, the more undesirable the activity is, the better the game will make. Alright? How many of you guys hate math? Raise your hand. You hate math. Yeah, I bet you fucking did a hundred grades of upgrading on a daily basis. Oh yeah, 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 you know, hey, go sweep the floor, go pick the squeeze up. Man, that's shit. Oh my god, all this money is the best thing ever. <laughs> Yo, Father Moon, this is what we have to farm to with two women. So, uh, last year, you ever notice how the hot sand is getting really big right now? Yeah. And uh, I never understood the appeal of both I really did. They didn't have Donald, alright? Listen up, alright? If you understand Vocaloid, just hear my words. Vocaloid is Japanese tea pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's why I say Vocaloid is a bomb. Why do I love Vocaloid is a bomb? Because you can't get shot again. <laughs> <laughs> but, you guys can do it. I just want to 
end with one more joke that I got. Um, how many guys here love Dr. Who? Yeah. I'm actually jealous of all of you guys, especially the cosplay Dr. Who. I can't do it, because I'm Asian. Everybody would just call me Dr. Wu. <laughs> In fact, I can't even like show my parents the cosplay for them to give me shit. They'd be like, oh, why are you, why are you just upset the doctor? Why not be a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 